Imagine when our knowledge of the cosmos was limited to what telescopes could reveal. Our solar system felt like a lonely island in a vast ocean of stars. In 1977, humanity launched Voyager 1 and 2, our first emissaries to the outer planets and beyond. Their mission to explore Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, using a rare planetary alignment. The Voyagers were equipped with cameras and sensors to study these distant worlds, but their creators had a grander vision. They would keep traveling carrying a message from Earth, a golden record. This gold-plated disc holds images, greetings in 55 languages and music from Bach to Chuck Berry, a time capsule of life on Earth. Carl Sagan and his team knew the odds of it being found were tiny, but the act itself was a statement of hope. Voyager 1 became not just a scientific instrument, but a cultural artifact, a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. Its discoveries rewrote our textbooks volcanoes on Io, hints of an ocean on Europa, and stunning images of Saturn's rings. But its ultimate destiny was to journey beyond the planets, into the unknown between the stars. Built to endure, Voyager 1 was programmed to keep going venturing into unexplored territory. Its journey had just begun, and the greatest discoveries awaited in a place no human-made object had ever reached. The story of Voyager is the story of our curiosity and our hope for connection. It is humanity's message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. After its encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1's path flung it out of the planetary plane, toward interstellar space. It traveled through the heliosphere, a vast bubble created by the sun's solar wind. This bubble shields us from the harshness of the galaxy. But, Voyager, was heading for its edge. The outer region, the heliosheath, is where the solar wind slows and piles up against the interstellar medium. Scientists watched, waiting for Voyager to cross into true interstellar space. The journey was long and silent, signals from Voyager grew fainter taking over 16 hours each way. Communicating with Voyager became a lesson in cosmic scale, a tiny probe billions of miles away, where the sun is just another star. As it traveled, Voyager's instruments measured the solar wind, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. Scientists expected to see the solar wind drop, cosmic rays surge, and the magnetic field shift as Voyager left the sun's domain. These were the signs of crossing the final frontier of our solar system. Each day, Voyager drifted farther, its data offering clues about the boundary ahead. The stage was set for a historic moment, humanity's first step into interstellar space. The anticipation grew as Voyager approached the edge, ready to reveal what lay beyond the sun's embrace. The crossing would change our understanding of the solar system forever. Voyager's journey was about to enter a new chapter. The world waited for the signal that it had left home behind. The boundary of the sun's influence was within reach. The transition into interstellar space was more complex than anyone expected. In 2012, Voyager 1's instruments recorded a sudden drop in solar particles and a dramatic rise in galactic cosmic rays. It seemed Voyager had crossed into interstellar space, a historic achievement. But, one puzzle remained. The magnetic field's direction didn't change as predicted. The sun's magnetic field should have given way to the galaxies, but Voyager's readings showed it remained the same, only stronger. This contradiction sparked debate. Had Voyager truly crossed over, or was it in a mysterious boundary region? The particle data screamed, interstellar, but the magnetic field whispered, not yet. Voyager was challenging our understanding of how stars interact with the galaxy. The universe was messier than our models predicted. Voyager wasn't just exploring new space, it was rewriting the rules. The final confirmation would come from an unexpected source. The scientific mystery played out across billions of miles. Voyager's journey was a leap into the unknown, revealing surprises at every turn. The boundary between solar and interstellar space was not a simple line. Voyager's data forced scientists to rethink what it means to leave home. The next clue would come from the sun itself. The proof that Voyager 1 had entered interstellar space came from a solar flare in 2013. Months after the flare, its shockwave reached Voyager, causing the surrounding plasma to vibrate. Voyager's instruments measured the plasma's density, 40 times higher than inside the heliosphere. This dense plasma was the signature of the interstellar medium. The transition wasn't smooth. Instead, Voyager found a complex layered region where solar and galactic influences mix. The sun's magnetic field seemed to extend farther than expected, connecting with the galaxy's field. The boundary was not neat or tidy, but a tangled frontier. 
Voyager's crossing revealed that nature is far more intricate than our simple models. The sun's influence stretches deep into the galaxy, blurring the line between home and the unknown. Voyager 1's entry into interstellar space revealed plasma far denser than expected. The interstellar medium turned out to be clumpy and dynamic, not uniform. This matters. The interstellar medium is the raw material for new stars and planets. Voyager's direct measurements are like holding a piece of another world for the first time. The spacecraft detected a persistent hum, a vibration in the interstellar gas, the galaxy's quiet background noise. This hum, and the high density, challenge old theories about the region outside our solar system. Instead of a low-density bow wave, Voyager found a dense, cool environment, a cosmic fog. These discoveries force scientists to rethink how our sun's influence interacts with the galaxy. Voyager's data is reshaping our models of the cosmic neighborhood. Beyond plasma density, Voyager 1 has been listening to the symphony of galactic particles. Inside the heliosphere, it was shielded from cosmic rays, high-energy particles from violent cosmic events. Once outside, Voyager's detectors registered a surge in these particles, revealing the true radiation of the galaxy. This data helps us understand cosmic ray origins and their journey through the galaxy. Voyager also found the interstellar magnetic field is turbulent and chaotic, not orderly. This turbulence scatters cosmic rays, making their paths unpredictable. Voyager's findings challenge old models and provide a new view of the galaxy's high-energy environment. Our lonely probe is a compass and detector in a place we once only imagined. Voyager 1's discoveries have fundamentally shifted our view of the solar system's edge. The boundary is not a simple line but a turbulent porous frontier where the sun and galaxy interact. The idea of a magnetic highway connecting our sun to the galaxy is a radical new concept. This changes how we think about other stars and their protective bubbles, astrospheres. Voyager's data is crucial for understanding exoplanet habitability and the search for life. Our map of the interstellar boundary is no longer guesswork. Voyager is filling in the blanks. The solar system is not an isolated island, but part of a living, shifting galactic environment. The textbooks are being rewritten. As of November 2025, Voyager 1 continues its lonely trek, over 15 billion miles from Earth. Its power is fading, soon its instruments will fall silent, yet Voyager will drift through the galaxy for millions of years, a silent testament to human curiosity. Its mission transformed our view of the outer planets and the edge of the solar system. Voyager answered questions we hadn't thought to ask and revealed a universe more complex and beautiful than we imagined. Its legacy is twofold, a foundation for future interstellar missions and a symbol of our hope and unity. The golden record it carries is a message from all humanity, not just one nation. Voyager reminds us of our shared home and our cosmic heritage. It is our silent ambassador to the stars. For a brief moment, humanity reached out and touched the vast, dark ocean of the night sky. 